Looking for the perfect holiday outfit? Forget running to the mall. Who wants to spend all that time and money? Stay tuned for our top Christmas outfit hacks. Chelsea is a holiday outfit master. That Santa hat and skirt are practically screaming Merry Christmas. But what's this? Looks like Chelsea's shoes are more in funeral than in Christmas mode. Crack open that piggy bank, look in the seat cushions for spare change, or just in your wallet. Because you're gonna need gumballs. Looks like Chelsea's located the nearest gumball machine at home. But if you don't have one up the street, beads, sequins, and even colorful buttons will do just fine. Just check with mom or grandma. Sorry, gum-loving roomies, but I've got my own plans for these colorful beauties. Hope my pumps are ready for their very cheery transformation. Man, it's gonna take a while to cover both shoes, but it's gonna be worth it. You've got three options here. You can make sure you vary the colors so they don't repeat one after another. Or you can lay out a pattern on the floor ahead of time. Or just go crazy and glue them on randomly. Looks like Chelsea went with the first option. Sorry, fairy godmother, but I don't need your help any longer. Cinderella here got ready for the ball all on her own. Looks like that ball got started without Chelsea. I wonder what's taking her so long. Whoops. Looks like it's better she's running late because Jess is literally playing with fire. Ash, I'm so sorry. Do you want my garland? Maybe you can use it to patch up your skirt. Remember, just stay calm and carry on in any situation. There's always something you can do even if it does seem like things are literally burning down around you. So don't even think about tossing clothes that seem ruined, because you can usually just change the cut. Hey, Ash. Close your eyes. Merry Christmas. Aw, thank you. Let's see if Santa got my wish list this year. Kira, I love it! A red shirt is perfect for this time of year! I do love the color, but the fit is obviously off. Hmm, just because the shirt is a shirt doesn't mean it's gotta stay that way. If you can't change the size or fit, change what it's meant for. All you need is our longtime friend Mr. Scissors, your handy fountain of creativity, and some festive inspiration to perform this Christmas miracle. That's right! Keep channeling your favorite catwalk looks, and maybe you'll even come up with an entire collection. <gasps> Ash! You've got a future in the fashion industry! Let's add a little more Christmas sparkle to the mix, and you and your boho vest are ready for the runway. Online shopping is often hit or miss. Size is running small, size is running large. It's a total headache to fix sometimes. But rolling our pants up is something Kira definitely should have done. Ash, Jess, what's up? There she goes. Sorry to say it, Kira, but we told you so. Life is sure full of curveballs for me today. I guess it's my own fault. It was pretty obvious I should have just taken a sec to roll up my pants. Good thing there's a quick way to make them nice and chic. And Kira's back on top instead of on the floor. Looks like Jess went a bit overboard with that powder. Why does white attract everything? I swear, it's impossible to wear it for more than five minutes before you or someone else gets something all over it.
wait a second. What if I make myself a little present? That should still leave me with something white and cozy. If that sweater would keep me chic and toasty, then part of the sweater can still keep me chic and toasty. I think my logic's on point here. But my patience is running out. And my need for instant gratification is winning out. So I'm just gonna use glue instead of a needle and thread. I think we're almost done here. And it's looking so good, I think I'm gonna use that needle and thread after all. I wanna be able to wear this for a while, not just for tonight. Move over, hat makers of the world. There's a new milliner in town. And you know what? I'm loving the hat. And there's more fabric. Fabric from the exact same material. So it'll go perfectly with my new beanie. I could use it to make some gloves, but that could get complicated. I think I know what won't though. what? I still don't think I'm done. There's two perfectly good long sleeves left. Sleeves that'll save my fingers from getting scalded, but that'll keep my Christmas latte nice and warm. Wow, Ash, I love your outfit. Thanks, Chels. What are you wearing tonight? I don't know. But I want to look festive. Do you mind if I also wear red? Mm -hmm. This hoodie is pretty festive, right? Mm -mm. It's pretty red. I don't know about festive, though. I think it's missing something. Like everything. You're right. And I think I know just how to spruce it up. Chelsea is on a mission for something that's both red and festive. But what exactly is she up to? Well, her hoodie is actually hiding two articles of clothing. An entire outfit, both a top and a bottom. And like Michelangelo who said that sculpting was like chipping away at something to find the masterpiece buried deep within, Chelsea is methodically chipping away at her hoodie in hopes of uncovering her own masterpiece. So, grab your comfiest but still new looking oversized hoodie, a safety pin, and your trusty pair of scissors, and get to work. Trust our two artists, cause putting in the effort will always eventually pay off. That drawstring from the hood sure came in handy. I want my masterpiece form-fitting. I haven't been working out all year for nothing. Chelsea, you and I need to open our own boutique. Thanks, Ash. That was just the reaction I was going for. Where is she? Finally, I've been waiting forever. Drink your Coke and let's dance. Kira, I'm so sorry. Clumsy Ashley is so sorry. Jeez, Ash really did a number on my shirts. It's already a crop top, so there's nothing I could possibly cut off, but... Ta-da! Saved by the wide-legged pants. Ready to party, Ash? What? <laughs> How? Kira, I'm speechless. Also, I've been thinking of opening my own fashion line. <laughs> girls, girls, girls. You do know about karma, right? <gasps> what goes around, comes around. Just stay present, Ashley. And don't you panic. Basically, we're back to doing like the Brits. Keeping calm and carrying on. Let's see if you can use their highly motivational but theoretical motto, 
in practice. Mmm! Ashley's shirt must be even more soaked from her tears by now. What tears? Ash, I was wrong. I'm calling Project Runway. <laughs> It's blooper time! Hit that subscribe button and keep on keeping calm and carrying on straight to the comment section. See you guys soon!